the NFL resides in the heart of Nashville, Tennessee, and that's where we find ourselves at Nissan Stadium. This crowd here fired up for football as a moment ago their Titans were introduced. This should be a good one as the Titans get set to match up with the Miami Dolphins. Here's Jason Sanders now to get this one started, and off we go from Nashville. Now it's Rodgers. He completes it to Julio Jones. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. A big play that time through the air. 33 yards. And we are keeping a close eye on his catches. A really close eye now because that's number 899 in his career. The next one will give him 900. On the ground, this is Derrick Henry. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. Another good run there. He's been good all season long. I don't know if he's going to win that MVP award, but just to be in the discussion, obviously that means he's had a great run. The raw numbers put him in the discussion. Can he carry his team to enough victories? Can he put them in a spot where we say to ourselves, well, an MVP carries his team to the playoffs. That's what he's going to need in order to get that award. Derrick Henry. Oh, some strong running. And into the end zone for a Tennessee touchdown. Derrick Henry, his 25th touchdown. Tying him at Smith for the fifth most in one season. And the Titans take the ball down the field and score on their opening drive. Extra point right down the middle. And that makes the score 7-0. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. And here comes a return from a few steps into the end zone. And that decision to bring it out ends up not being a good one. Costs him about five yards as he's tackled it to 20. of Iloa and the Dolphins come up first and 10 at the 20. A play fake for Gasket. Now Tua. And incomplete. He dropped it. Maybe a rookie mistake there. Second down. So Charles, here we are, week 17, both of these teams playing their 16th game of the regular season, and obviously for decades, that was the full season, but as we all know, a little strange, still one more game to go next week. Yeah, Brandon, I think we're both interested to see how things play out next week, because we know their division titles and wild card spots up for grabs, so those teams, no doubt, they'll be all in. But oh, and this ball's tipped and intercepted. Picked up at about the 31. And they will finally get to him, but a great return has set him up first and goal at the five. 
So problems with Aaron passing continuing. Remember, he threw two picks in the loss last week, and now another here in this first quarter. And sometimes, partner, this is the result of a quarterback who's simply trying to do too much. Feels like he's trying to make up for what he did last week, and he can't. And he will score. Touchdown, Titans. Derrick Henry. His 26th touchdown, drawing even with Marshall Falk for the fourth most in a single season. And the Titans are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. Point after, right down the middle. And that'll make the score 14 to zip. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. And we'll see a return here from the end zone. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. The partner just looking at some of the struggles they've had this season. The playoffs are not in their future. As they start to peer toward the offseason, what moves might they make? I think the running back position, and I know we talk all the time about the NFL being a passing league, but the teams that run the ball effectively, they're the ones that go deep into the playoffs and go to the Super Bowl. They have to upgrade here. And you and I both know in recent years in the draft, people have shied away from taking a runner early, but if there's that special one there, I say they go get him. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Going to the air, tug of Iloa. And this will complete to Will Fuller. And he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. You can almost hear the sigh of relief coming from their sideline and from their point on the field because this has been a tough start for them thus far. A much needed first down there. They needed something good to happen. Plays like that will continue to help them dig out of this hole. On the handoff, it's Gaskin. And he'll work this forward for about three. It's second down. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. This is Gaskin on the carry. Nothing doing. Barely able to muster a yard to hit the 35. Well, this defense for the Titans, they were excellent in that win over the 49ers last week. But we certainly had a nice conversation with the defensive coordinator, didn't we? And what we heard, I like what we did, but we definitely need more pressure on the quarterback this week. They need to get to the 29 if they want to pick up a first here on third down. On play action, here's Tua. This will be caught. It's Waddle. And they move this all the way down to the nine. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. They'll run now with Gaskin. They're only about a yard there as he takes it from the nine to the eight. Here's second and goal, operating from the eight-yard line. Here's Tongue of Iloa to throw. And that is caught. Touchdown, Miami. Miles Gaskin with touchdown number eight on the year. And the Dolphins able to get this back within a touchdown. Extra point up and good by Sanders. And that'll cut the lead down to a touchdown. Now after the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Sanders. And no return on this one as the fair catch a signal for and take it. Tennessee offense about set and ready to go. And right now they're saying, hey, let's keep this going. Two drives, two touchdowns. Yeah, can't ask for a better start than that, can you? I mean, this is the way you practice it. This is the way you rehearse it. But right now, the play calling, they're locked in really well. And yeah, this is going to be a Titans first down as he's able to get this up to the 37-yard line. 
One thing's for sure, this defense has to figure out how to stop the ground game. He's eating them up here in the first quarter. It looks like they have to go to different forces, aren't they? The conventional things aren't working too well. So I remember a coach of mine saying way back when, when a back's having a great game, you've got to get the ball out of his hands. See how far he can run without the ball. And what he meant was takeaways, knock it loose, because maybe you can't just stop him with just regular tackling. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. No sense risking anything there on first down, even though he's still in the pocket. He had a receiver out to his side, so he'll just put that in a spot where the only people who can make a play on it are the trainers and the coaches. Well done. Second and ten. Shotgun now for Rodgers. Escaping the pressure right. It's complete. This is Derrick Henry. And he'll go down right around the 47 this time. Nine yards, and that leaves him just short, so it'll be third and less than a yard. Try to run for the first with Henry. And he's got the first down yardage before being taken down at midfield. They'll run with Henry. Five yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down. Charles, they won last week despite him not running the ball well. They told us need to get him going. Runs like that help. And they talked to us about leaning on him because, as you noted, last week they didn't have to. Still won the ball game. They leaned on other people to give him the yardage that they needed, but they really want him to be that guy, and that's what they're doing early in this game. Now a throw downfield is taken in by his running back, and he's brought down, but not before he reaches the eight-yard line. A big play that time on the catch and run. We know he's good at catching the football, but then after the catch, he's got escapability. Not only that, he's got some toughness as well because you know he's coached very hard to make sure he battles through, breaks tackles, and then they finish with him. But don't fumble the football. Through one quarter, 14-7, our score. They scored touchdowns on drives one and two, and now they're trying to make it a perfect three for three to start. They'll try and run for it with Henry. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. No gain on the play that time, and it sets up second and goal. He's hit pay dirt a lot this year, but not that time. Yeah, I'm tracking right there with you. You're exactly right. He's found the end zone plenty of times. No way I can find any fault with the call. He may not have scored there, but of course you can. And it's a Titans touchdown. A.J. Brown. His ninth touchdown of the season. And the Titans are going to add on to their lead. The extra point splits the uprights. And it's now 21-7. The kickoff unit is out on the field. And they will send this one away. Now this will be returned from deep in the end zone. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. I guess they have to feel a little gratified to at least get on the board last time, but still work to do. No doubt about it. I wonder now if they're going to try to increase the urgency a little bit, maybe pump up the pace, maybe go two minutes. Who knows? Let's see what they decide to do. They'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. Yeah. 
Here's Tua. That's caught Waddle on the left side. And they'll get it all the way up about five yards shy of midfield. So that, that was a very nice play, Charles, from a very speedy cornerback. And that is a situation where in a defender's mind, you just have to pick a point on the football field and think to yourself, I'm going to sprint full out and meet him at that point. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't, but he had to play diagnosed perfectly there. At his maximum speed there, according to the next-gen stats, 21.9 miles per hour. After the loss, they'll come up second and 13. Now the Dolphins going to burn the first of their timeouts. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this second quarter. Gaskin again on second down. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. So operating from Tennessee territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 43. They fake the handoff. Now Tua. That's going to be caught by Waddle. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. So from the 17 now, here's a first and 10. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. To the end zone, but it's incomplete. Well, you don't expect too many quarterbacks to be adept at breaking away from would-be tacklers, but this is uncommonly good right here as he's able to get away. And as a former defender, I can tell you with certainty, those are the ones that have you losing sleep at night. I would not like to be in that film room on Tuesday going over that one. Just a pretty poor effort defensively, and it leads to a big play. And you can see the distance traveled there after the initial contact on the next-gen stats. On second and ten, Tua. And he's wrapped up, taken down, back at the 25. Bud Dupree. It'll go as a loss of about eight as he gets in there to drop it. So now after the sack, Tua and the Dolphins staring at a third and long. Throwing now is Tugabailoa. Into a double team and it's intercepted. Picked up by Amadi Hooker. And the Titans are going to get the football here as he gets this up past the 20-yard line. Now, CD, I know it's just his second year in the league as a quarterback, but that's going to be one when he flips on the tape. He's like, ah, I shouldn't have thrown that ball. No doubt about it, and his coaching staff will be emphatic about he shouldn't have thrown that ball. But remember, second year, as you noted, on-the-job training, so he's got to take this feedback that he's getting, negative or otherwise, and turn it into positives moving forward. The Titans offense set to begin the drive. They'll start on the ground. It's Derrick Henry. And he's got it past the 30 before he's hit and dropped. 78 yards rushing for him as he has been tough to stop here in this first half. Now this is an example of breaking down a defense because on a lot of these runs, he's getting past the point of attack. And guess what he's doing? First and ten. Two minutes remaining in this first half of football. Coming up at halftime, we'll join Jonathan Coachman and the gang in Orlando. Coach will have stats and scores from the early games going on here around the NFL. On first down, Rodgers. 
And that'll be knocked away. It's incomplete. Receiver coaches preach to their guys all the time. Separation, that's what's going to make the play successful. That time there was very little, and I think they were actually fortunate that it was only knocked away and not intercepted. Pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. From the gun, it's Rodgers. Flush to his right. And past the 40 before he's out of bounds. Certainly making his presence felt in both the pass and the run game. He's having an impact. Yeah, his first carry of the game right there. He had hurt him with his arm. Now he's showing that he can shuffle the puppies as well. Fake the give. Now Rodgers. This will go to Henry out wide. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. Another catch for him there on this drive, Brandon. And it looks like they're going to utilize him out of the backfield any way they can. And that time, they pick up a first down. So now on defense, do you assign a man to him and try and cover him before he gets going? Rodgers now on first down. Flushed out right. Nothing open downfield, so he'll throw it away. They've given up a few first downs on this drive, but getting the incompletion there, that should give them something to build on and maybe turn the tide. So they'll come up after the incompletion for second down. Shotgun now for Rodgers. Looking left sideline, incomplete. Feels like they're getting caught in between here because any completions on first and second down, now you got to worry a little bit about the clock because you prefer not to give them another shot here in the first half. But if you don't pick up the first down, guess what? You're likely going to have to. Now they face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions. Rodgers to throw once more. Throw left side complete. That's Wilson. The Dolphins going to take their second timeout. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. On fourth down, here's Brett Kern to punt the football away. He was only asked to punt once in the victory last week as he sends this one away. And that'll hit in the end zone. Much too much leg there. That'll be a touchback. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. As they take over with exactly one minute to go. And boy, this defense again really making things tough on him as they stop him for no gain. Looked like he was trying to bounce it outside, but no success. Yeah, sometimes you got to just figure out where you're going to go, and sometimes you just have to take it to another spot. And trying to get it outside, the defensive pursuit was there and just ran him down. Officially nothing on that last run. They'll try again second and ten. Play action. Now it's Tua. Here's Fuller with a catch. And he takes us beyond the 35 before going out of bounds. Well, these guys have definitely been outplayed in the first half, but I like their countenance. I like the way that they haven't panicked out there, the way they're carrying themselves. They were starting to move the ball, and what you have to do, maintain your poise and start to put together some drives. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Now Tua. And the Titan defense steps up here and down he goes. And they need to work to at least get some of this yardage back after the sack. Second and 19. Tua, a final shot before half. 
He's got Fuller. So we've come upon halftime here in week 17 as we send you down to Orlando where Jonathan Coachman has our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Final adjustments being made in both locker rooms. We're just about ready for the second half and for the call. Let's get you back up to Nashville, Music City, in Brandon God. coach thank you very much as we welcome you back for quarter number three the final two quarters of the NFL regular season are upon us as the second half of week 17 is underway well, from deep in the end zone he's going to bring this out Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. And they trail here to begin the second half. What's going to be a key for them to get back in the game? I think they're right there. And I think this game is still up for the taking for them because we always talk about turnovers. They had two of them in the first half. And once you start talking about if you have three, four, or five, you know it's beyond difficult to try and win a football game with that. Those have to be eliminated. If they take care of the ball, they've still got a shot. Second and six just inside the 30. Tua sets up to pass it. And that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. But the passing windows are just not there. And that's just another example of how great this defense has been all game long. And that's exactly what a top 10 defense can do. They can really change the game tempo and frustrate you as you try to execute offensively. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Here's Gaskin. And he won't be close to a first down as he runs into a wall right around the line of scrimmage. No gain there on the play, and that's going to leave him with a fourth down. Taking a risk here early in the new year. They're going to go for it. They're going for it. Here's Tua with it. It's complete to Fuller. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. From the gun, they'll try to run it. And he'll get this up past the 45 to the 47. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. Well, I think after that run, the defense get back in the huddle and looking at each other and maybe starting to question their confidence a bit. They gave up a significant run, six yards, and now you're saying to yourself, how do we stop them, and do I have enough confidence to make a play? The last run got six, now second and four. Two are going to throw. Got his man complete over the middle. That's Fuller. 
Well, speed is definitely a calling card if you play cornerback in this league, and he does a terrific job there of hustling in quickly to make the play. Yeah, this defense as a whole has really been flying to the football all game long. They have not allowed too much of anything, and here's another example. A great play there to get in and disrupt it before it could get going. And according to Next Gen Stats, his top speed on that one better than 20 miles an hour. On first down, Tonga Bailoa. And a throw right sideline is complete. And they'll get this to the 30-yard line before crossing over out of bounds. It's taken a while for this offense to get going. A little creaky at the start, but they're oiled up now. A nice throw there, and they're really putting together a good drive. So first and 10 now from the 30. From the gun, it's Tua. Throw left side is complete on the diving effort. So the ball down to the 16 here for first and 10. And this play gets blown up. They'll lose yardage back at the 17. Two yards the loss, second and 12. This defense is just flat getting after it. They have not given up much of anything in the run game. Case in point right there. A rare misstep on that last play because the drive has been strong, but now it's second and 12. Tongue of Iloa working out of the gun. And they're going to get him. He's sacked back around the 28. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Oh, and two are going to be intercepted for the third time. Picked up by Kevin Farley. And the Titans are going to get this back to their own 34-yard line. So it was a drive that had real promise here to begin the third quarter, but ultimately derailed by the INT. And that was the position you wanted to be in, coming out to start this third quarter, get a nice drive going, looking for the end zone. Possibly got a little bit too greedy right there. 